and she didn't want to lose them, and uh, that's why she took them. I'm worried about it all. <laughs> What'll happen next? And we'll Four children alleged to be in extreme danger. Their non-custodial mom, translation, she did not have custody on the run with them. Let's see the map to Aisha Sultan with the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. Why do police believe that she could be headed to Oregon, Colorado, or New Mexico and Oklahoma? Why? Well, they're just believed to have maybe perhaps some relatives or friends, but in the past, when she did take the children once before, she did go to Oregon and was there for some time with the children. Where? Um, What's in Oregon that she goes to? There are reports that she had relatives there, and that's why she was in Oregon. Ron Schindel, what do you advise at this juncture? At this point, what they want to do is they want to look from where she started and possibly head west. That's the pos that's where the leads lead mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. is west. So you have 600 miles out to Denver. There's a lot of area out there to look at. Mark Class? I, I mentioned this the other night. What you want to do is you want to do a routing distribution of Amber Alerts. It's already been mentioned that there may be fast food receipts in the car. Well, if those fast food outlets already had a notification that this woman was on the run and she showed up at the window, there's a very real chance that this could have been ended. Unfortunately, when the Amber Alert was created in the beginning, they didn't take these kind of contingencies into account, and therefore we have a less than perfect system. You know, Mike Class, you're exactly correct. That's how little Shasta Grony was discovered uh, after her mm -hmm. horrible kidnap. Everyone, let's stop and remember Army Staff Sergeant Jesse Alt, 28, Dublin, Virginia, killed Iraq on a second tour, re enlisted in place of his wife, who was recalled to active duty. Also, she could stay behind with her children. Love the University of.